you all looked at that market and start working with airlines to start looking at non-stop flights into the Tri-Cities to, to bring the paper to the, the casino? Yeah, so, you know, that's a great question, and actually that is part of our uh, marketing pitch now when we're talking with airlines, talking about that, uh, that opportunity that's just right around the corner. Um, and, and that is, those are conversations that we actually, we started speaking, well, not started, but we, Gene's been having conversations, but I was part of that conversation yesterday about the importance of the hard rock in going air service and the type of airline that we want. So typically, air uh, casinos do casino junkets for their high rollers. There's different types of operators. We don't want an operator that does strictly charter flights. We want an operator that also does commercial scheduled service. So we don't want 100% of the plane for the high rollers. We want a fraction of the plane for the high rollers and the rest for everyone else. That means instead of having to sell 150 seats on the plane, now the community has to do half because somebody else has already picked up the other half because those guys are spending a fortune. So we do have a strategy in that, and those conversations are hopefully... Have you met with Hard Rock? Uh, we have reached out, we've met with the folks who are building the casino with United Company, um, but and they're working with Hard Rock, we've reached out, they're, they said they're not ready to jump into marketing plans at this point, but as soon as they are, they will get a hold of us and work with us. The other limitation, just to point out, um, again, where I'm limited, I can go to the airlines and I have to go to all of them and tell them the same thing, hey, we've got this new casino coming in, here's the demand opportunity it's going to have, we want you to know about it. We can't negotiate with them for flights for that. That's a hard rock. We'll have to do that specifically. And again, the community, uh, if we had a community organization, they could go and say, you know, we wanted to get a hold of Sun Country and have them fly three days a week from somewhere in Florida up to the casino. You could do that and be specific. But again, we're limited and we can't do that. So we're reaching out in every way that we can. We're making sure the airlines are aware of that and we're working towards marketing as much as possible with the casino and with the people from Hard Rock. But again, we run into some limitations on what we legally can do. I was just thinking that Rock, Hard Rock probably has already done a business plan knowing where their, their uh, mm -hmm. customers are going to be coming from. So that would give us an advantage to know that that would be the market we would need to look for. Because uh, you know, I think the non-stop flights are great, but most people use them just to go to the beach, quick vacation, come back, you go on Sun Thursday, you come back on Sunday. There are different flights that Legion does and so forth. But uh, and maybe even Hard Rock would be to be willing to help support uh, the marketing of uh, the airport. Mm -hmm. No, and that's great. I mean, same with the Speedway. Same with the, there's opportunities with the university and the sports teams. Again, there's opportunities if uh, a big company here is bringing a whole bunch of people in for sales training. We need all of those partnerships because all that all that helps. But you're absolutely right. The, the hard rock and the, they didn't make this decision lightly to come here. There's obviously a clear reason that they know they can make a ton of money. Um, so we're really trying to plant the seed that we want to be part of those conversations and help dictate what airline flies in here. Of course, you know, I'm, I'm sure Gene will be happy with a couple planes a week coming in and filling up with fuel and, and the landing and all that kind of stuff. But really, it doesn't truly benefit the entire region unless everyone can fly on it. So that's an important part for our rock. But no, that, that's exactly what we're looking for, those, those inroads to the right people. Um, again, yesterday in one of these uh, meetings, we actually had somebody who represents the hard rock and we and we're talking about the same thing. And there's actually some people that I've met that's already moved in there in my home that works for Hard Rock. Wow, okay. They're working from their homes in Bristol right now. Really? Okay. Yes. That's great. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I think I mentioned this, but we're going to be doing a, a corporate survey in, in January, and that type of information is important too to share with you know the Hard Rock folks. It's to share with the, the big companies, uh, the small companies, to understand what the needs are. 